KSI? versus Jake Paul. Okay. Who would win if they fought? The number of internet personalities challenging themselves and other boxers to boxing fights has continued to rise. And in today's video, the fight is between another internet duo. Today's fight is between an English YouTuber and rapper, KSI, going up against fellow YouTuber and internet personality, Jake Paul. Both of the internet celebrities in today's matchup are both quite inexperienced in the professional scene, with one having just one fight more than the other in his history. KSI is a pretty popular rapper, singer, actor, and YouTuber. The 27-year-old has two individual YouTube shows with a combined following of over 33 million subscribers and 7 billion video views. He has fought in one professional match in his professional career, and that fight was against the older brother of his opponent for today, Logan Paul. In the fight against Logan Paul, KSI took the win after a split decision by the judges. However, KSI has been in two other high-profile boxing bouts. These first two fights were amateur white-collar events. The first one was against another British YouTuber, Joe Weller. KSI won this match through a technical knockout. The match pulled a live online audience of more than 1.6 million. His second fight was against Logan Paul that ended in a majority. The next time KSI met with Logan Paul in the rematch, it was KSI's professional boxing debut, and he was able to win the match with a split decision. Jake Paul, on the other hand, is a 23-year-old American YouTuber, internet personality, actor, and rapper. His fame started on the no longer existent video application Vine before he played the role of Dirk Mann on the Disney Channel series Bizardvark for two seasons. In 2018, Paul fought in a match against Deji in a two-collar boxing match. The fight was the chief undercard before the bout between their older brothers KSI and Logan Paul. Paul won the fight in the fifth round by a technical knockout after Deji's corner threw in the towel. On to his professional career. In 2019, it was announced that Paul would be starting out his professional boxing career against his fellow YouTuber, Anes and Gibb, also known as Gibb, on the 30th of January, 2020. The match between Paul and Gibb was the co-feature to the match between professional boxers Demetrius Andrade and Luke Keeler. Paul won the fight via TKO after 2 minutes and 18 seconds in the first round. Then in July 2020, another announcement went out that Jake Paul was going into the ring again for another professional bout. He was facing professional basketball player Nate Robinson as part of the undercard for a match between Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. exhibition match. Paul won the fight with a knockout after a minute and 24 seconds in the second round. So. KSI's overall boxing record has two wins and a draw, while Jake Paul is still undefeated. With all the facts set, let us place both fighters in the ring and find out what advantages they have over each other. By the pre-match banter, both fighters are looking very confident in their abilities, with KSI saying that he doesn't see anything special in Jake Paul and Jake Paul has continued to call out KSI on social media for this fight. Now, most of the opponents KSI has faced have been bigger than him, and his success rate means that he can handle himself against bigger opponents. In fact, K 
KSI's last opponent, Logan Paul, is a lot bigger than KSI, and he somehow still managed to grab a win. With that said, keep in mind that KSI is recorded to have a bigger reach than Jake Paul. KSI's reach is set at 76 inches, while Jake Paul has a reach of 71 inches. However, we have to keep in mind that all the fights Jake has been in ended in TKOs against fighters who can be placed on the same level as KSI. Bottom line is that this match is most likely going to end in a TKO. Both fighters have the potential and ability to knock each other out, so based on that, it will be a little hard to tell who will. Strength-wise, KSI is definitely the stronger fighter. Judging by his fight against Logan Paul, who is supposed to be the strongest of the three, KSI was just a little weaker than Logan Paul. However, where KSI will begin to face problems is in terms of speed. Jake is much faster in movement with his body and hands. This means that the strength, reach, and force of KSI might not be as useful against Jake if he will not be able to catch him to land a punch. KSI is most likely going to start the same way he started against Logan. Come off hot in the first few rounds, putting as much pressure as possible on his opponent. Nonetheless, Jake Paul should be able to handle some of the pressure since he is pretty impressive in the back foot and also has some pretty clean check hooks. After a few rounds, with KSI's pressure gradually dropping, Jake Paul can start taking advantage of some openings. KSI has some issues with head movement, and if he does not work on it at training camp, it will cause a lot of troubles for him against Jake Paul. Considering the amount of strength KSI possesses, chances are that Jake will be fighting on the back foot the whole time. So, it is important that he keeps his composure throughout the match since he already has a good understanding of back foot boxing. However, if Jake Paul comes out trying to match KSI's pressure and energy, he will not be able to, and once he starts taking some heavy hits, he will either get knocked out, or if he does last the length, lose by the judge's decision. What do you think about this verdict? Let us know in the comment section below who is more likely to win and why you think so. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button below, and if you want more, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. Thanks for watching, see you next time.